how easy this is. So our goal here, guys, is to again, eliminate the parameter and then identify what the curve is. So identify the shape of the graph. Now again, knowing those 12 basic curves way back in the day well, is going to be beneficial here. Now, the one thing we recognize here is x is equal to t. So if I want to eliminate the parameter, basically what I want to do is type, type in you know, whatever x equals into the y equation. Now, again, this isn't always the case. But wouldn't you guys agree that majority of the time I can describe what a graph looks like when it's solved for y? Right? So typically, that's what you want. You always want to plug what x, e um, what x is into the y. So again, x is equal to t. So could I just replace all the t's with x's? Yes. There we go. Done. I eliminated the parameter. OK, now I just got to describe, well, what is this? Well, you can just go down the list. Is it a line, a quadratic, a cubic, a radical? It's a cubic. So you can just say it's a. Um, yeah, cubic graph of a cubic function. That's it.